This artwork depicts a regression that I experienced through an encounter with someone. The story goes that I was once an ancient warrior, a knight, a medieval knight, and I had love for a woman, a princess, and unfortunately I was killed in battle. I had a sword that was pierced through me through the center of my chest, through, through around the area of the solar plexus. I did at times, and still do very occasionally, when I get tired, I feel, I can feel something in my chest. It's actually a, a symbol that I need to rest, uh, and I need to recuperate. I'm doing a bit too much. But it harks back to a regressed path in my life, that these past lives start to peek through into our contemporary life if we are not fully learning the lessons that we need to. The past lives come back to teach us something. Because they are past lives and we are re reincarnated into another lifetime, there's certain things we didn't deal with in those lifetimes. So there they come back to remind us this is something you need to do. This is something you need to achieve. Obviously mine was connected to unrequited love, to achieving my mission, to not dying on the battlefield, not perishing. It's an amazing message in a way and it's amazing that I can use that and then turn it into an art piece, into a story that it is and express it here in the artwork. There's a battle, there's a struggle. There's also a struggle for identity. How do I as a Jew relate to the fact that I was some kind of Christian warrior or crusader in a past life? What does that tell me about the nature of the universe, of how of how God's plan in Acts actually makes me even more astounded and amazed, to be honest. You know, my Jewish identity is deeply ingrained within me, and this makes it even more vital in a way. That I've had so many different influences into my soul, into my being, and that they can come out through artworks. I feel eternally grateful that I can tap into this. The idea of a regression is to peek into some of the past lives that we've had. Older souls can have up to hundreds, maybe even thousands of past lives. And they can be an incredible resource and a journey to explain why certain habits, issues and even traumas still persist into the present day. Regression, hypnotherapy, trance, you can go into past lives through a variety of different means and can unlock the secrets that exist within you. You have to accept this, you have to accept it as something that exists. You also can't accept it as a reality today. It's no longer your reality. It exists in a different time, in a different dimension. You have to learn what the lessons are and then use it as wisdom, as knowledge to move forward, to overcome trauma and your issues, to heal and become stronger. That would be the only reason about dipping into past lives, as well as to make good art and to tell interesting stories. It does show that our inner world is the richest resource that we have is an infinite resource. We can dip in and pull out an incredible spectrum of different experiences. It makes being human just something that is truly amazing and deserves to be celebrated.